All right, hi folks. This is gonna be a, a fairly quick video. Um, I'm just doing one I'm harvesting ochre. Um, I've grown it in tubs just outside the greenhouse. It's only my second attempt at growing them. The first time I tried it, something went wrong. They got diseased or something and they all died off. Um, these ones seem to have grown okay. So I'll be setting the camera up so we can see what comes out of the, the buckets that I've grown them in for this season and we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm just trying to think if it was having a quick look around the garden. I'll, I'll give a quick update on the onions that I planted in the last video. So I'll just spin you around. So I've got a few bits, but very, very unattended in here at the moment where I've not been too well. But there we go. All right, that's the ochre in the three tubs, as we can see, it's fully died back now. It's tried sending out seed legs as well. So there's plenty of others under there, but obviously because they're not in the ground, I don't think they're any good anyway. Um, that's the Jerusalem artichokes to be harvested in that one. Now these are fully gone. That'll be the next one, I think, along with that, which is the Mashua which is the tuber that's underneath the vines. As I say, that's the first attempt at growing that one, so we'll see what that's like in the next video. Very untidy at the moment. These are the onions, garlic and shallots that I planted in the last video. This variety is coming up nicely. Next one over there is just starting. A couple of that one coming through. Again, over there doing all right. There's nothing on the elephant garlic as yet, but that's quite deep. Some more of the shallots are coming up. Those ones over there are steaming through. The other variety of onion over there. And then all of these ones here are doing very well. <clears throat> Got. The potatoes came out that were in the buckets at the other end. It was an abysmal harvest. Out of seven buckets, I think I literally got probably two little bowls worth of potatoes. It was rubbish. The Swede down the far end aren't doing very well at all. The here we go in. the turnips have done really well. They're actually okay to start using now. Snowball turnips here. The radishes are doing well. I think these, I'll try and get the right name for them. I think they're the, no, that's the black Spanish round. I haven't pulled any of them ones up yet. That's the mooley radish in there. It's hard, a bit hard to see, but they're growing okay, but they've got a lot of growing to do yet because they're the, the ones we see in the supermarket where they're absolutely massive. The China rose radish. Yeah. What I'm doing is I'm looking into the idea of dehydrating them because I dehydrate um, Jerusalem artichokes. And I've been told if I do the same with radishes, you can still rehydrate and use them in stir fries and things like that. But we'll have to see. All the pepper plants have died, died right off now. They're no good at all. But then what have we, what's the temperatures we've had in here? I don't know if you can see that, but we've got minus 5.3 in the polytunnel. So that's the coldest it's got down to at the moment. We'll just reset that. We're 17.4 at the moment, but yeah, minus 5.3, so that's pretty cold. All right, well, what I'll do is I'll set the camera up now in a position where hopefully you'll be able to see me harvest the ochre, and then we'll go from there. All right, catch you in a moment. You can see in there. Let me just double check camera a minute, if I can.
All right, I'm hoping you can see in there okay. And obviously I've cut the tops of the plants off. We'll see if we can get that out. It was a bit cold right here last night than I thought, so it might be a bit frozen in. Ah, there we go. Right, if we put that there to put them into. The grubs for the birds. Right, now. Very wet. So, start from up here. Obviously, that's how they grow. They grow on a tendril from the main plant. Come off very nice and clean. Obviously, these ones are a bit flattened because they're growing right on the edge. So, the ground is very frozen at the moment. As I say, I'll shut up now and I'll get on with it and we'll have a chat when we're picked them. Right, that's one bucket done. Um, if that's anything to go by, not very impressive. Uh, some of these aren't going to even be edible because that was on the surface anyway. So it seems that they're very shallow growing. So even though the bucket's there, they've not grown downward. They've just sort of stayed under a certain type of top. Now I've got one more builder's bucket to do and then I've got a larger potato bucket to empty out and we'll see what the total harvest is. But going by that, um, I probably wouldn't bother growing them again at the moment, but we'll see what the other buckets are like. Right, I'll come back to you when I've emptied out the others and we'll show a final amount. Right, well, unfortunately, the ochre has been an absolute failure. Um, pretty much the same as what I showed you before. Not sure how much you can see in there. But that equates to two builder's buckets worth of plants. The large potato one probably had about five little ochre in the top of the whole thing even though it had about four foot of vines coming out of it so that was really bad and inside it let me just show you quickly what i found because i'm not even sure what they are myself yet i've got to do a bit of homework let me spin you around literally hundreds of these little grubs you can see by the end of the rubber the size wise but the entire pot is just riddled with them. I've had to spread it all out on the concrete to allow the birds to come in and clear out all these little critters for me. So, yeah, by all accounts, Ocker will not be back on the list again for this season. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll still go through and eat what, ones are edible to give them a go see what they like anyway 
Um, some other people I know might want some for seeds to try themselves because they, they may grow better in the ground. I don't have the ground space to allow them to roam enough, I think, for what they'd need to grow. I'm going to build a new one for the Jerusalem artichokes because then we do eat a lot of, as I say, I dehydrate them, put them in stews, casseroles, curries, pretty much anything that they can go into. Um, but yeah, the Oka is a no-go. All right, see you next time.